Um, good evening. Good Welcome evening. to this fall's Blackburn Voting Committee. Most often sponsored to Blackburn, bought solely by the English Department. But this time, to add a bit of festivity, is done with the generous, assist the generous assistance from African and African American Studies, the Department of Music, the Department of Gender, Sexuality, and Feminist Studies, the Vice Provost for the Arts, Duke Arts, the John Hope Franklin Humanities Institute, and the William Blackburn Fund. I would like to thank all of these contributors for making this fall's Blackburn Festival possible. And I would especially like to thank the extraordinary Matia Guardabascio, uh, for who is the person who really made all this happen. I would like to please give her a This year, the Blackburn Reading Now Festival, alternately so, simultaneously so, a particular poet might say, is in honor of the Reynolds Prize Professor of Creative Writing, Nathaniel Mackey. Tonight's keynote performance is the culmination of what we're calling the Mackey Sessions, a gathering from around the country of scholars, critics, poets, and just plain fans come to talk and listen and deepen their understanding of this continuously unfolding and monumental body of poetry that has already won major awards, the Poetry Foundation's Ruth Lilly Award, a National Book Award, and the Bollinger Prize, and is a focus of considerable critical attention by major scholars of American poetry, many of whom are here tonight. These sessions, as well as the readings last night by Fred Moten, and Ed Roberson are also meant as a celebration of Mackey's 70th birthday. Now, the vulgar among you might note in this a certain temporal dissonance in that Mackey turned 70 last October. <laughs> <laughs> and you might well feel justified in presuming this delay is due to fundraising and scheduling challenges or possibly even to the contribution of my own poor organizational skills <laughs> to the overall effort. But the subtle among you <laughs> will note that as Nate is now about to turn 71, this delay is in fact nothing less than a renovation of fallen time itself. <laughs> Due to the mystical numerical vistas, only such belatedness could make available. <laughs> Readers of Mackey know 7 plus 1 equals 8. <laughs> and as we learned long ago in Mackey's first full-length collection, Eroding Witness, republished by Selva Oscura in honor of this event, mm -hmm. right here, and I believe available. Um, eight, is the, 8 in the Dogon cosmology is the number associated with speech. In fact, let me just back that up by going to, as I'm an English professor, by going to the text. Seven, said Ogotavelli, is the rank of the master of speech. One plus seven equals eight. The eighth rank is that of speech itself. Speech is separate from the one who teaches it, that is, the seventh ancestor. It is the eighth ancestor. The eighth ancestor is the foundation of the speech which all other ancestors used, and which the seventh taught. Second, in addition to this, there's the obvious musical considerations, in that, as one scholar has argued in music theory spectrum, in jazz, the function of durational inequality at the eighth note level is the production of anacrusis on the offbeats, thereby generating the sense of forward propulsion and drive thought to typify the rhythmic quality known as swing. And third, for those of you attuned to the mythological traditions of esoteric Islam, the approach of 71, 7 plus 1, makes available to, the po to a poet with a lifelong obsession with paradisical states of mind access to the legendary eighth climate, the climate of the soul, an intermediate realm between earth and heaven where the mythic city of Huraquala is ringed by emerald mountains, where spirits are embodied and bodies spiritualized, and there is no sun or moon or stars because the earth secretes its own light. Whereas longtime readers of Mackey are well aware of all this, 
I would like to say a few words tonight to those who are new to Nathaniel Mackey's work, who may even be hearing it for the first time. It's true that scholars and critics have, been, have much to say about what Mackey writes about and how he writes about it. But all you really need to know is what the poet's words will make evident, that Nathaniel Mackey is writing the central poem of our time, that no other poet alive now in writing in English has pressed song to the imaginative reaches, touching with alternating power and delicacy on the breath and depth of our erotic, racial, political, and spiritual lives. His intertwining poetic sequences, songs of the Anamulu and Mu, are already one of the major achievements of modern American literature. And it should be noted, there's six more volumes already completed and yet to be published. The man is just getting started. <laughs> In the course of his ongoing long song, we are essentially travelers, moving through landscapes, situations and states of mind, arguing with each other, consoling each other, pushing further into both solitude and solidarity, steadfast but not uncomplaining, as I have heard the Mackey family motto has it. Mackey assembles in his poems and invites us to, to join what Hart Crane would have called the visionary company of love, pilgrims, runaway lovers, freed slaves, musicians, all eloquent interpreters of their own ardent desires. Tonight, joining with the figures in his poetry and with those of us gathered to hear his poetry are an extraordinary group of musicians making their world premiere, the Our True Day Begun Soon Come Quartet. Please welcome and say ha happy soon come birthday to Daniel. <laughs> Tia and Quante, who have been uh, offering technical and other kinds of support uh, to make this thing happen. Uh, it's been great. Have to thank Ed and Fred for that wondrous reading last night. along with Meta and Brent uh, for the uh, session on music uh, this morning, which uh, told me things about my work that uh, uh, I won't say even I didn't know, but I didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have to do some work on that in my mind. Then. <laughs> that, 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 uh, that might take me someplace. But uh, thank you for the um, wonderfully considered comments and response to, to my work. It's, you know, that's what you guys are the ideal readers. You couldn't ask much more than that. I'd have to say the same uh, to Peter and Jean and Jay and who else was it? Norm for the afternoon session on Nick. Um, yeah, I, I was pretty nonchalant about that TH. Again, wonderful to have uh, uh, to have one's work work addressed in this way. Um, 
I'd like to introduce um, the members of our true day begun soon come quartet. Um, quartet is uh, there's this interview that uh, uh, Frank Kosky did with John Porsche. In fact, they, they did it in, in Bobby's car in the parking lot of the supermarket. Mm -hmm. And at one point, uh, if you listen to the recording, you might have noticed that at one point, um, Kosky, Kosky asks uh, Train about um, basically the, uh, what kind of ensemble, what kind of group, a uh, piece of music he was talking about uh, was good for, was performed by. And, uh, and Train says, Quartet. <laughs> so now that I'm in North Carolina, where he came from, I take it that's what it's pronounced. Uh, it's, um, it's the quartet. Um, anyway, um, we have Dorian Perriot, second. All right. All right. We're going to hear him on euphonium, uh, cornet, and baritone sax. And we have Jason Ness. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, my longtime co conspirator, Patel Cherry. <laughs> Sandy Block with her on percussion. <laughs> Our new begun. So we're going to um, do a continuous piece, um, the long song, uh, which we hope will be all one song, all one poem. Um, the way we've at least Patel and I conceptualized these, these uh, occasions before is uh, a movement through um, what could be called zones, what could be called precincts, what could be called regions, or what could be called climates. So we're going to move through four of them. And um, each of them is presided over by Let's call them two lay spirits. Uh, the first zone, precinct, chunk, climb, or region is presided over by the troubadour tradition, the spirit of romance, and Hansa El Din, the Indian singer, food player, which we put out. And from there, we will move into a zone, precinct, Climate or region presided over by an Iraqi food player, uh, oboe player, composer, and singer, Fawzi al Aidi, the spirit of John Coltrane, the spirit of Leroy Jenkins, and the spirits of children in cages. In our third zone, precinct, climate, or region, we'll find ourselves, we'll find it presided over by the spirit of Wilson Harris, the spirit of Aretha Franklin, the topos known as limbo, and the dance known as limbo, and also the angel of history. And in our fourth zone, precinct, climate, or region, in this quartet of zones, precincts, climates, or regions, we'll find that presided over by the spirit of Federico Garcia Lorca. Where they take the Pharaoh Saunders and the Loa. Kind of a man. Yeah. 
I played a fretless lute, the less I knew of it. Bodily love, bodily faults, caress. Frets day come, run come, question come in. Why pour the boat not meant to last, you were asking? Why put us in one? Bodily flaw, bodily forfeiture, a lost or a last leg's twitch. Lost, longish tooth, but under a pillow. Inside my mouth, the words beautiful youth again, no helping it yet. Ragtag endearment, come back from back when. Flawed beauty's flaw, what beauty there was. Made up, what made up for. I played a fretless lute, the less I knew. <laughs> I woke up to money left under my pillow. Shahrazad perfume. Flawed beauty's flaw funded tail after tail. Nights and day dispatch. I played a fretless loop the less I thought about it. Mouth that moved my mouth, a speaking mouth. Tail as much as teller, and to be of that to speak. Tail as much as tail, but what say? What test old mo would be? So sang the singer, I sang. So said the song. What said ventriloquy, adorning the book of soul? Lute no less fretless, the more involved it got. The more I played, the more slip, the more slide it got. I played a fretless lute, the less grip I gave it. Meaning, meaning to say, the lute had a trend, but not say it. Gone away too, gone away with the sun. I put a straw beneath my pillow. The wisp it all has been. He said by that to a pen of straw. Magical chance, magical transfer, magical pick I played at making. All the more so, the more thought I gave to it. No matter I played a fretless to the less I thought. light hit again when she smiled. It made me say more than I knew, made me know more than I knew. I played a fretless loop the more I worried what I knew. The more no was what no was, not its strength that counted most. I made keeping it unreal, as real as I could. My lady's tooth gone in dim a grudge I kept talking about. Something caught in my throat, no longer beautiful you. Beautiful you, I sang out, even so. No moment, it turned out, not stolen, so do the word. No matter my fretless mood, said no. I played a fretless loop to say a torn away tooth turned into gold. Coughed up antipathy, a chill come over the strings, a rasp thought. Crawling my throat. I sang my lady's beauty's flaw, her chipped tooth, her chipped front tooth, edge I'd run my tongue off when we kissed. The more I played, I played a steal away. My lady's tooth cut my tongue, it bled, fretless, 
the song of lost repair, I sang. Lost reparation. Why board a bus not meant to last, I was asking. Body not meant to last and not last. A chipped front tooth, nothing at all. A fretless mood it was I played, and a fretless mood I asked it. A fretless loop was not wanting to know. I did my asking. <laughs> Thank you. 
I was wondering what Wood would say, what Wood would say, wanting some unsayable something, a deep say, prior to say, before say's concession. What would Wood say, I was wondering, Wood so fretless, my fingers fell away, a something sound seemed as much a matter of. It said, synesthetic tarsia, cheese. As if I saw blood run down my neck, I heard Gerben say, Say something, the blood. A fable elsewhere, the ood I played espoused, and elsewhere, elsewhere, the double strings contrived. I stood in the center of an eight pointed star, the side eye. Soon it seemed I schooled my mood on circumambience, of being around or being about, subject itself, subject to qualm, sine qua complaint. I was the abandoned boy, asking what not being would be like. All the more, the more no one could answer. What would not being be like? At the moment of letting go, one would know, I was thinking, it's not, except not being there to know. Except there being no one to know. I was the abandoned boy again. Nerves, aggrieved whiteness gave me jitters. Why was it we who got schooled on knockness? I was asking. We who, we the people, fell flat. We, their, we the people, landed on. They, their own migrated. It all bore me eastward, train at my side on soprano, wafts so thick, the air so exact and agile, we played our noses, I thought. It was the dilation of sound of yore I knew, love, dilational tone, buzz, bird, bite. We played ignoring the line between anywhere and somewhere, non cosmicity gave ground, seeded the way as we had our way. Meant to charm snakes it might have been, so open-throated I dreamt I bled. Next I knew Leroy Jenkins joined us, blowing hard, but going nowhere, a utopic nowhere. We played was keeping history at bay, for it was history with what we played. No matter, I sat in a cage. We played on the line, joining anywhere with somewhere, played away the border between. I was in the school of food again, the abandoned boy, wanting nubs, crayfish, fretless play, all I could eat. Thank you.
ooze a nativity to us. Playing scored part on, part hooper. You played in a cage, made your pledge allegiance. We were feeling happenstance's hand on our shoulders, the weed we feed. We had taken a real trip, Train was heard to say, on a real ship. No matter real, seemed up in the air. The real depressive way with fact what the matter was. We blew with soup cooler of plum on Excel. Why the bent neck, I wondered, looking at my mood. Was there just a record on the box I played along with, I wondered, fighting back toe cramps, keeping time, time with my foot? I wasn't fretless like before. The weed went on without me, or with me, but ragged. The train and Leroy said it was okay. Why the bent neck? I went on wondering. <laughs> No matter what else I needed, like wings. 
minds that not to think about music. I called on thoughts of the hair within my lady love region. Horns, the lady's hair, such as it was, nothing less likely there. I feasted on paradox of a mind for what was not, wide eyed, wide eyed for, for what would not be seen, a late lesson in notness grown motivic, a school of dilation again. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
sun was set through a glimmer below deck. The roots, dark insides, a magical of sorts. Its back less back than belly. Some were said to have bent back while surrounded by singers, bent back so far their heads were on the floor. The backs of their heads were on the floor, it was said, brushed it. The back of the head of belly digesting damage. No way, its way, away. Some were said, once on deck, to have jumped. A shark's teeth were breathless as the way, no way, was theirs. Jumped, some said, overthrown. We knew all this coming into the nerve church, its nave encyclopedic, no outrage not written down. History, a parable of nerve, who had. truck it might have been, might well have been, might as well have been, so metamorphic the dock must be embarked. It was nothing if not Eleanor's dream, the ship we were in, loot of the light lady of night, Eleanor's loot, we surmised. Not since primordial B met primordial C had it so approved, no mild not haunted, no matter what move we made, our bus but fucking along. Eleanor's face, which had floated many a boat, 
now floated puffs in the air. A nerve church was nay and doctor. Notional past. Our notional romance. Calling history moot. Such the way we got by. Such the way we got by. Proved every day by soul music, Brother B said. Peaches and herb that come out of the box. A metaphor love boat, the metamorph boat of soul turned into now. We were on our way who knows where. Bus, boat, train, and truck. On our way wherever we soon come. inside the very church. The loop's underbelly, the boom, the mattress underbelly, the panther, the death's underbelly, the hole, metamorphic soul's underbelly, the foreboding. We were far from low forest, far from low coast, on a train from Barcelona to Lyon. Eleanor slept, lying across the seat across from Ithamar. Her head on of slap, her small feet peeked up beautifully from under the blanket that she lay wrapped up. The train was a boat, or it would take us to a boat, unclear which. The boat of soul that lay docked in the nerve church, all hands on deck awaiting us, if not according to some, none other than us. It was not, nothing visible outside our windows. The commiserative dead gauged our quotient of soul. No one able to say what it was, though we rode it. The riding alone was clear. The train ran away with us, took us away. Soul riding us, it seemed. Warm and humid, with the breath of the breathing bodies. A blind winding, or a boat finding its way through the night. There was no way to know it but by its effects, Ithamar was saying, an array of aromas we took to detain them to, pervading our car.
Five times two to the second, all we say about number, the under or inside, more than it was to say. It was song sixty-five times four we were in, over hundred. Then tautological figure, self-rethos, number, letter was. So it was we kissed like we were thirsty when we did. Incendiary, no matter what it was. Tongue, and jet of flame, no matter. We wanted to be fools and stuff. Where not to be was to pray on the world. 
Elder Warren Huff had faded back into the weeping tree. Slower, real slower, back to as they'd been before. The littleness of number, never more irrelevant. A feeling for the none, what obtained. They knew a philosophical readiness riding the curve of the belly or back. The boat of soul we boarded was a feeling for the none, no one in none, nerve, stub, wanted to know it was right. We saw what solace there was looking out at the varieties of green to be seen in that forest. Deer carcass picked up by buzzards on the side of the road. See them as musicians, Audrey remarked, looking out her window. See them as playing people, the way their beaks pull in the carcass of music we can see but not hear. We, we indeed did see the none of it. Buzzard beaks, the barrage of plectrum, ligament. And sinew, and string, plucked and picked. The buzzards were hands and fingers whose play would labor. A divine or demonic vehemence made of music we almost heard. The hawks rendered the sky another crab lake, low forest behind the heaven, even so. <laughs> Lungs for a time healthy, 
all of us eventually know. Scraps of memory, roads, what breeze there was. Chill sonority, real but abstract. Scraps of melody, they might have been as well, were we to hear it then. We put live at the village vanguard again on. Pharaoh's rough butterfly brought us back. We were back among the big trees. We were back on Lone Coast. We were hearing with the hearing inside our heads and anywhere else. It got heavy holding the world in our heads. Our bus, our boat. Our bus was a boat of longing. Water as the sea we brought. of other tongues, other tongues on the tips of our tongues, the tip of the beloved's tongue, all there was, all there ever was, anyway. Invisible order, I heard or I heard word of. 
What one saw, one saw refracted. Light that had an angle, a kind of level. Leverage what one needed, getting by. We were back from the school of food, was all it was. The ooze back the hull of the ship. Thus the beloved's lips, the toil. All only so much a cruel to the nun, a nox or an anodyne deliverance. Rescue was proper again. A proxy god we gave the name Go Head at our backs. Wayfare forever, though we might, or most likely would. It was all one to us, whether one or the other, womanly or manly allure throughout the premises, waters returning to itself. We had gone back to primary form, form assuming the shape of its retention, when and were there such, each, every, and all. That what was all in my mind, or most of it, brown versus hard over here. A dream such as the frog dream, a dream or a drifting off, all the green gone blue before I knew it. The truth was our bus remained upright and we whizzed along. 15501, 101, long coast and low forest, the ride, I wanted to say, of my life. All was accruing to the nun as we rode. The school of the ooze back, our school with the rock belly. Eleanor and Huff, a grade or degree thereof, ever not without the sexual aspect. Wetness and walked where their legs met. We the would be fool it took to learn. A school of the ducks back, it also was. Loves for the beloved's tutelage not to be lost. Waters first rolling away, a dare to behold. All only so much love. We were of the order of the dry feather. Don't care accolades. Tear it up, we were time and again heard to say. Not since, I wanted to say, but since what wasn't evident yet. Tree after tree went by outside my window, green back to green again. Not since Andrianette's maidenly look wearing a peacoat came out at last, used for Madonna come into the counterpoint with the carcass on the side of the road. The muse for Madonna coming arrived. There was something it wanted to say about ride, or to say using ride. Something like, we'd ride out the wretchedness of the nerve. Something like, we'd survive. That go here, don't like ugly, for long. It had to do with a call or a calm come from beyond or behind his book extent. It wanted to say, keep speaking through love's irrelevant lips, to and with the beloved's irrelevant tongue, to and upon the tip of the beloved's tongue. It was saying, late love saw one through, would see us through. It spoke of repossession by spirals, a late word for spirit, it said, having to do with the late word, too. We rode along, riding along. We gazed out our windows. We looked out at the forest, so much of which we could not see. A lever, let it be, or let us call it, we resolved. The eventual pneumatic exit, a kind of incline. The boat of longing lifted our hands up over our head. The clothes we wore stripped away, floating above us. Naked as jaybirds, the voiceover said. It felt good to be birds again. 
Our dream was no longer with our strange at plastic state. The scene so digested a national sound upended heaven. Carcass reverted auditor for days. It was extolling the muse memory could be, the bits of it riding, the breeze, the distended epic. Dislocated this, dislocated that, ramified forever. No such it as only once. Thank <laughs> you. 